right here. Let's go. I really shouldn't because I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm like, getting a cold, but I also really just want to play more of this because I love it. Okay, the sun is already high in the sky when I wake up. Hazuki said she'd take care of it, but you never know when things will turn dicey. I'm more thorough with my warm-up and stretches, just in case. It's almost time to meet up. I better head to the Black Rabbit. Oh, hello. I don't have time for this. I stick my face up to the peephole. Oh. Wow, I wonder who this could be. <laughs> Flashy silver hair. It's... The occult idol, Momos Momo Kuruse. But when I look close, her face looks like... <laughs> you know a lady Hazuki, yes? I've come at her referral. She requested that I assist you. Mm, would you mind terribly letting me in? Things would get troublesome if I'm seen. If you take too long, I may have to curse you to death. <laughs> Uh, sure, come in. It's an absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm Momo Kuruse. Yup, there's no mistake. The hair throws people off, but her face. Aren't you Hazuki? Yes, you're correct. It's only natural that you uncover it. We're friends, plus I have less makeup on than usual. That's a good disguise. The hair and the face tattoo are spot on. Disguise? No, I am truly Momokuruse. The identity of Momokuruse is Kaoru Hazuki. Seriously? I'm quite serious. <laughs> Were you surprised? I mean, your faces are the same if you just look. Well done, Kojima. It's fascinating how silver hair and some makeup can keep most people from realizing. Also, I would be grateful if you kept this hush-hush. Tattle, and you'll activate a curse that will twist off your tongue. Though, you may speak about it with Ami. Does she know too? Yes, you only let it slip. Ami was so pleased that I was popular. She'd cheer so loudly, and she was as happy as if she was the one who was the idol. But no one else knows, and they mustn't find out. So you want to keep everything a secret, yet you go around dressed like that. What are you thinking? It's unavoidable. I simply love the attire. My life revolves around the gothic and the occult. You must understand this sort of passion. This guy doesn't really seem like a passionate person, but sure. <laughs> so you do understand. Thank you. Of course, the reason I revealed my identity is so we can see the Urashima woman. The security guard today is said to be quite the passionate Momokurose fan. Perhaps he'll allow us to enter if I curry his favor. Okay, sure, maybe, but... If people find out, it'll be a big scandal. Oh, that. No need to worry. So long as I'm able to see a real ghost, it doesn't matter very much. She acts like it only makes sense. Guess the occult idol really is hardcore about this stuff after all. This is to find the adorable Ami, of course, however. I also hold a vendetta towards the Urashima woman. What? My grudge towards her cancelling my great necromatic night concert is strong. I must get my vengeance. I can never tell when she's serious. What scares me is the thought that she might actually be serious about everything. Right then, shall we get going? You're planning on going out like that? Well, obviously not. It would only create a disturbance. Please wait a moment. Momokurase pulls out a piece of scotch tape, sticks it to her face over her temporary tattoo, and peels it off over and over. Ouch, ouch. Once the tattoo is completely off, she quickly removes her wig. No fuss, no muss. Suddenly, the usual Kaori, Ka Kaoru Hazuki stands in front of me. Sorry to keep you waiting. No, that was pretty quick. It looked painful. The tape's only for emergencies because it's way too rough on my skin. I don't like using it. Oh, now she's back to talking like she was yesterday. How they speak really makes a difference. Only their passion towards the occult stays the same. Turns out I'm not a momoler, but a momo kuruse herself. Sorry, I kept it a secret. Doesn't really matter. Idol or whatever, it's all the same. Why would I treat you any different? 
Oh, by the way, did anything happen last night after you got home? Sleep paralysis, maybe, or a sudden nosebleed you couldn't get to stop. I immediately remember what happened in the bathroom. May as well tell Hazuki about it. That's what happened. Oh, wow. That sounds like a spiritual curse. You must have brought something back from the lake. This is bad. Really bad. She may be saying it's bad over and over, but her face tells me she's actually excited. She goes nuts over supernatural phenomena, so this is kind of par for the course. Hey, Kojima. I want to see if I can get it to happen. Do you mind? Knock yourself out. Make it quick, though. It's almost time to meet up. Thank you. Hazuki rushes to the bathroom. She tries filling the tub with hot water or turning on the shower for a while, but nothing weird happens. Hmm, that's too bad. I wonder if spiritual curses only appear late at night. Or maybe I have to be by myself. That sounds terrible. Aren't you scared? Well, kind of. More weirded out than scared, I guess. That makes sense. Anyway, it's almost time. Let's go, Hazuki. Right. We leave and head over to Black Rabbit. Amanomi is not here yet. Feels like we rushed over here for nothing. Hmm? What's this? Hazuki spots the missing persons flyer on the bar counter. If they're still out, that means Aunt Natsumi hasn't been by all day. Natsumi must be suffering a lot right now. We have to find Ami as soon as we can. Sorry I'm late. Had some things to do. Did you wait long? No, we just got here. What's this we? So, you came together. You two are getting along well, I see. What are you implying? His apartment is along the route I take to come here. I just stopped by and we discussed the plan. Really? Talked about the plan? Just the two of you, alone at Akira's place. Has spring finally sprung for Mr. All Serious? Yeah. This feeling's pretty nice. Can't say I expected that answer. Hey, what did you do to him, Hazuki? I didn't do anything. My surprise is as great as if I'd, if I'd met Bigfoot just walking down the street. I'll come back to this matter later. Our plan is more important right now. Anyway, did you guys come up with a good idea? Yeah, we're sticking with Hazuki lending a hand. Not just a hand, but my whole body. My plan will stay a surprise, but I have no doubt that it'll work perfectly. How confident you are. We're counting on you. Alright then, it's time for us to get going. Oh, hold on for a second. Hey, Kojima. We should tell Amanome about your blood metry. He probably won't believe it, but it's important he knows. What are you talking about? I give Amanome the full rundown of last night. About how I got a vision from the blood stain on Ami's headphones, and about my blood metry ability. Oh, I'll admit, I'm shocked. The two of you were together last night, too. Not the point. I'm joking, stop glaring at me. Uh, so what exactly is this blood metry? Unlike a cult lover over here, I'm a modern man who lives his life according to science. I can't possibly accept some ESP mumbo-jumbo at face value. Maybe that's true, but... Hold on, let me finish. I say that, but I'll agree to believe you in part. This is all coming from you, after all. I half believed your story about Kakuya, so I may as well keep riding this train. I'll wait until I actually see this ability in action before I comment to the other half. I can't wait to find a bloodstain. Amanome is a realist. He's the fight organizer for the Yakuza, after all. Because of that, the guy only accepts the reality that he experiences himself. Seeing blood, blood metry in action might change his mind, though. Okay, it's time to go. Let's all sneak inside Yamato Shrine together this time, no matter what. And we're at the shrine entrance again. Okay, so we're here. From what we heard yesterday, the guard today is some kind of big fan of Momokuruse. The two of you look like you have something in mind. Can I leave you? T can I leave it to you? 
We got it covered. I nod at Hazuki. Yeah, there's something I want to try. Well, at least you're enthusiastic. All right, let's see what you got. All right, we need to approach security window. I approach the security station and try talking to the guard. Yes, may I help you? This guy sounds way more laid back than the one yesterday. Are you already closed for the day? Yeah, sorry about that. Due to unfortunate circumstances, the, clo the park will be closed tonight. I hate having to tell you this after you've come all this way. It's so serious that even Momo's concert was cancelled. Bingo. Sounds like our info that today's guard likes idols was spot on. It's just like we thought. I'll come back another day. Oh yeah, please do. How'd it go? It's just as we heard. Let's go ahead with the plan. Yeah, I'll give it a try. So, what exactly are you planning on doing? Just watch. Here we go. Hazuki pulls a wig from her bag and quickly makes the necessary changes. How is it? Is it crooked? I think it's okay. And what appears is... What? No way. <laughs> Guess this is Momo Kuruse's ca catchphrase. Even I'm a... I'm a <laughs> Even I'm a non -miss flawed. It takes him a couple seconds, but he quickly accepts this new reality. Uh, I'm glad Maruhashi isn't here. But, uh, huh. That's one hell of a secret weapon. That's right. If the security guard is a fan of mine, then this certainly should work, don't you think? Yeah, an idol alone gives more of an impact than some girl playing the seduction routine. Even more... Even more punch if it's that f person's favorite idol. Like... Hell yeah. But shouldn't you maybe add a bit more padding up top? My fans pre rather prefer smaller. <clears throat> Just sit back, relax, and watch from the here. Kurose confidently steps towards the security station. Excuse me? Oh, yes, how can I? <laughs> You're... Something clatters to the floor inside. That guard must be losing his shit. Oh, my apologies. I'm here on my own time, so I'd appreciate it if you don't make too much of a fuss. Oh, yes, of course. The idols have it rough, being chased by cameras all the time and everything. <laughs> Actually, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Yes, how can I help you? Could you let me inside the park? Huh? I've heard about the sad murder incident. The victim. She was a college student, yes? Her ghost must be wandering this place, burdened with all her regrets. I'm sure she's seeking salvation. I can feel it. M Momo, could it be that you came here so you can rest her soul? Yes, it's that precisely. Comforting precious lost souls is Momo Kuruse's mission in the living world. Please, Mr. Guard, I need your assistance. Uh... I'm really, really sorry. I can't do that. You really can't? No matter what? I would love more than anything to be able to help you out, but... With the murder incident, the higher-ups are breathing down our necks. I'm sorry. I... see. Oh, Momo. Oh, oh, I have an idea. I'll go and check inside the park for you when I'm on my patrol. I'll definitely find traces of the ghost. If there's a ghost, it's got to be there, on Ryugu Island. Something terrible happened there a while back and... Suddenly, a phone rings inside the security station. Oh, I have to take this. Sorry. Please excuse me for a second. The guard disappears into the back room. Hmm? Is this our chance? The guard's busy in the back room. Yeah, let's go while he's... But just then... Oh, I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. The guard reappears. Damn, he's already back. Sorry, Momo. I'll be sure to take a look around the park for you, so please forgive me. If you still want to enter while it's closed. He hands her a pamphlet. Your best bet is contacting the manager using the phone number on this. I'm sure they'll hear you out if it's you, Momo. Oh, and also, here's our business card. 
He quickly scribbles something on the back and hands it to her. I wrote my phone number, so call me if you need anything. You can consult me about anything. Th thank you so much. Kurose's face is twitching when she comes back. She yanks off her wig and tosses it aside. I failed. I probably was too vague on why I wanted to go inside. Told you. Should have put more padding. So, what'd you get for us? A festival guide and the guard's business card. You said the management phone number is written on the panth pamphlet, but... I'll take that pamphlet. You can do whatever you want with that cheap business card. He grabs the festival guide and looks for the phone number. Yep, there's definitely a number to contact management. But actually, I think that other phone number will be more useful. What other one? The security station phone number. There was a call earlier over there, right? This must be the number for that line. Yeah, but why would that be useful? You don't remember. He had to go to the back room to answer the phone. That means if we call the station... Oh, the person guarding the entrance will be gone. That's what you're saying. Sounds like it would work. The call earlier was brief, so we didn't have time to sneak past. But if we can drag it out, there'll be plenty of time to get over the main gate. Then that means... One of us will have to be the person to call the security station. Question is, who will it be? Akira should obviously go in. Either me or Hazuki would stay behind to be the caller. Well, just think it over. Alright, I need to apparently interact with this again. Hmm, what should I do? Do we try calling like Amanomi says? The only thing left to decide is who I'm going to bring with me. Amanomi or Hazuki, who do I take with me on the investigation? Okay. Amanomi. Got it. It's probably a safer bet if I go with you. Alright, Hazuki, you make the call and keep an eye out for us. Okay, I'll just make up something to talk about. Ready? Alright, I'm gonna call now. Hazuki dials the number. We can hear a phone ringing inside the station before it stops. Oh, excuse me. It's me, Momo. There's something I forgot to ask earlier. While she's making things up on the spot, she gestures at us to go with her other hand. Let's move. Let's do this. We quickly clamber over the gate while the guard's distracted. Phew, that got the blood pounding. Alright, let's search for clues about the Udashima woman. But where should we start? If there's anything to find, I'd bet it'd be at the boat dock from the rumor. You may have seen her, but I want to peek too. Plus, you were short on time yesterday, so I doubt you got a chance to really look around. True. But a boat, huh? What's up? No, nothing. Let's get going, Akira. If you find something interesting, we can stop and take a look on our way. There's no water running in it, probably because it's after hours. Checking inside the fountain, looks like something sunk to the bottom. I dig around with my hand and pick up... A pacifier. It's a pacifier for babies. Whoa. The fountain spews water up out of nowhere. And just as suddenly stops on its own. That scared the shit out of me, jeez. Oh. The wind picks up suddenly and something creaks nearby. Huh? Was that stroller always there? I don't think we need to look at it. Where did this come from? The hell should I know? Well, clearly a random abandoned stroller just happened to roll over this way. It's the only thing that makes sense. Clearly. No, oh, esque doesn't work. Okay. It's still creepy as hell. Just like looking out everywhere. And there are like occasional 
Like the occasional noise as well. It's creepy. I'll dig around in it just in case. It gives me like Silent Hill vibes when you put your hand into a hole. I stick my hand inside the trash can and rummage around. I'll hold on to this. Towel cat. What are you gonna do with that? I'll come up with something. Okay, there's nothing left in it. Okay. Um, a directory that tells you your current location. According to this map, Yamato Shrine is divided into three areas and a lake. There's an island with a shrine at the center of the lake, but you need a boat to get there. Well, the, the pram's gone. I'm just kind of looking around on my own as well. May as well dig through just in case. Make him get his hands dirty for no reason. I reach my hand inside and rummage around. Oh, I'll hold on to these two. Okay, oh wait, I think I was supposed to do that. Weird that those were inside a park trash can. Maybe a drunk salary man wiped his mouth with it after he threw up and then tossed it out? Don't say that, I've already touched it. Okay, um... Oh? Is there something shiny in the boat? Looking inside the boat, I spot a hair ornament with a ribbon. Seems like a decoration on it caught the light. This wasn't here last night. There's something dark on it. Is this blood? Then this might be the perfect chance to test out the blood metry. When a blood stain is found during an investigation, blood metry becomes available. While blood metry is activated, the memories contained within the blood stain can be read. Okay. Okay. I pick up the blood stained hair ornament. You can do this, just suck it up and do it. I take a deep breath and touch the stain. Nothing could have prepared for me for what I see through the blood. The corpse of a young woman floats in the water. A long-haired woman stands upon the surface. Her stomach is big, swollen like that of a pregnant woman. Is that the Urashima woman? Cut off and accompanied by pained breaths, a woman's voice echoes in my mind. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I didn't actually mean to click off of it. Hey! I saw her. The Urashima woman, she's real. Did you see something from that blood? The Urashima woman killed someone. I think it was that college girl from the rumor. Come on, seriously? There's no way. That's impossible. I can't believe it either. But I saw it, whether I like it or not. That hair ornament wasn't here yesterday. Are you saying the ghost of the college girl brought it? It's easy to dismiss it as impossible. After a vision like that, I wouldn't be surprised if it did happen. Um, I just want to see if there's anything around. I think this one's like the least interactive, possibly. It's so fucking spooky as shit, though. It tells me to examine the stroller, but I already did that. Oh, wrong way. Nope. 
no, never mind, that's the stroller. Hello. It's, this seems to be in the wrong order sometimes, I feel like. It's shape, that stain. It's the same one we saw in the central plaza earlier. No way it up to moved on its own. Then someone must have. Oh, there's a book inside the stroller. A book that reads prenatal yoga for a blissful delivery. It has a black stain on it. Hmm. I pick up the stained book from the stroller. Obtained yoga book. This could be a blood stain. Bracing myself, I place my palm on the book. It's dark. I can only hear sounds. It's an oar hitting the surface of the water. Pant, pant, pant. Through the darkness, a woman's strained breathing drifts to me. I'm finally here. A dull sound, like something heavy dropped to the ground. That's right. I have to put this book in too. I hear something opening. The space in front of me brightens slightly. Is that a sanctum over there? Goodbye. What the hell? Hey, what'd you see this time, Akira? Someone was trapped. I think they were in a suitcase. At the end, they were thrown into the water. The hell? Did you just witness a murder? Amanome abruptly stops talking. Hey, what's wrong? O over there. The lake. Look at the lake. A shaky, pointing finger directs my gaze to someone standing on the surface of the lake. It's dark, so I can barely make it out, but... Is that a woman? Her stomach looks swollen. A pregnant woman in a white dress, standing on water. I've seen this before. Is she the Urashima woman? I guess she's not going to say anything. My stroller. What are you doing? The voice carried over to me by the wind doesn't sound like it came from a human throat. Well, it does because I'm saying it, but yeah, you get the gist. Damn, this is bad. One wrong answer and we could end up like that college girl. Oh, that's, that's the record. That's the new record. just keeps staring at us. After a moment of uneasy silence, the eerie voice speaks again. Bracing myself for the worst, I point to the Urashima woman's swollen belly. I isn't your baby there? Why, stomach? Why? Is she gone? The night breeze drifting across the lake cools the layer of sweat that's drenched my face. I'd just like to say, I'm 
fucking glad we didn't just get killed. Hey, you alright? Your heart didn't give out from shock, did it? It was a near thing. It's still trying to jumpstart again. Do you believe the Urashima woman's real now? Yep, sure do. I'm not so stubborn as to deny it after what I just saw. Anyway, she was saying something like, Tell me. The baby, tell me. Akachan, oshiete? That's what she said. What was she talking about? And that stroller, it belonged to her. Yeah, seems so. Then... That means the book you got the memory from also belongs to the Urashima woman, right? Then that memory earlier... Was that how the Urashima woman died? It's possible. So, Akira, where was she killed? I couldn't see much, but I think there was a sanctum. What the hell? Really? It was only for a second, but I saw a sanctum with a red door. Hmm, that might be our clue. If I'm remembering the directory correctly, there's an island in the middle of the lake and it houses a sanctum. Amanomi goes to the directory to check the bench, uh, next to the bench to double check. It's there, alright. Looks like the island's called Ryugu Island and the sanctum is Tamate Sanctum. Seems everything's named after the story of Urashi Mataro. Guess we need to do. Guess we need to go to this Tamate Sanctum. The Urashima woman might be there. Though I can't say I ever want to see her again. Across the lake, huh? We'll need a boat. I assume swimming's off the table. A boat, huh? Yeah, that's what it had come down to. Okay, we'll just. Uh, you know what? No, I will see you in the next one.